here to show you how to make these lovely, cute, mini, magical Valentine's gifts. You get to any person you have a crush on or your Valentine's partner or lover. So first you would need is these molds. I got these at Walmart. I got five of them. They're a dollar each. Um, right now you may want to get them before they're gone for a whole year. So yeah. Next, you will need these lovely magical stickers. So I'm going to be doing five of them. So what I'm going to be doing is the two dragons, the two whales, and this unicorn. Next colors. These are also from Walmart. They're, uh, I'm going to say $2 to $3. So I'm going to be using green, purple, blue, pink, and last, this darker pink. So I'm going to be using these two. I'm going to be using these for the backgrounds of the stickers. So yeah. And you need resin. Got some resin in here. Okay, so we're going to begin. First thing first, separating the resin. I got these in little cups. I got them one half each. I'm going to make it even. So there's no more than one. That's another one. So we're gonna add our colors. Get our molds. And we're gonna pour them in. Once you're done, we're gonna wait 24 hours. So while these are still, uh, once these are sitting, we're gonna do our next step, getting our stickers ready to be put in once the resin is done. So the next part you will need to get ready, you need some super glue, your stickers. I tape mine. You don't have to tape yours. You can use Pongeon. Next, some confetti. I'm gonna be using these snowflakes and these other snowflakes. They're two different kinds. And then I got pretty much different colors of graffiti stars. Yellow, pink, purple, and green. Next, some gem decorations. I got these tiny itty bitty ones. And then medium sized ones. This one's from Walmart. The little itty bitty ones came from 99 cent store. So yeah, so that's it. We gotta have to wait 24 hours for our resin piece to be hardened, so we'll be back in 24 hours. All right, so it's been 24 hours. Time to pop them out of the mold. Ta-da. It came out very pretty. Okay, so now, get our stickers. Get our super glue. Get a pointer tool. So first thing first, Green is going to be our green little... The dragon. I'm going to put some yellow stars. So now, this is what it looks like. So now, one's done. We're gonna do the blue well. The blue well, I am not actually gonna be using these snowflakes. That's what it should look like. Like I so said, you don't have to use the same confetti that I am. I just like because it matches. Next, the other well. I'm using these other snowflakes. All right, so ta-da. So now that one's done. That's what it looks like. So I got three down, got two more to go. Okay, for this one, um, I'm actually gonna be using, let's see. I think I'm used to light pink. 
It has some different colors in it. So let me use this one. Okay. So now I'm done. So this is what it looks like. Sorry. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Last but least, our unicorn. I'm gonna use the dark, 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 uh, dark purple stars, some green. some pink and some yellow okay so there you go it has different colors so these are all our pieces <clears throat> so I'm gonna clean up the mess you do not need a confetti anymore so next we'll be adding our gems for each of these guys you still need super glue and your pointer so first thing first is the wheel. I'm gonna be using the, the big ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So there's seventeen. So what I'm gonna do is four times. So there's one all around. Next, the pink dragon. All right, so the red's done. That's all shiny. Next, it is the purple. Okay, so this one's done. Next, our green dragon. So green one's done. Now last and least our unicorn. This one's gonna be different colors. So now I'm gonna use those um, white gems to do the little ones. The next part we're gonna make some resin. I got my resin right here ready and we're gonna pour it to the rim and then you're going to spray a little bit of resin on here so these gems do not fall off all right so now you got resin and glaze all over the place I'm just clean up <laughs> spill. Now we're gonna wait 24 hours. Once that's done, we're gonna do the next step right after. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. That's what they look like now. Very pretty. Very nice. Okay, so now so now what we're gonna do is send them back. So I got some sandpaper. We're just gonna send them a little bit. Once we're done with that, this is the final part. And yes, this is the final. I got this resin that actually makes the back very much hard, uh, changes colors to white. You get this on Michael's, you can see. So instead of being clear, it turns white. I'm gonna use this as the background. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand and I'll be right back. Okay, so sent them down. I already did. Now I got my mixture of the white resin. I'm going to mix it. This, once you make it, you have to hurry up and add it onto the back of your resin pieces because if not, this will harden really fast. Alright, so 
they're done. That's what they look like. Back's done. Yeah, so I should do like these. I actually did this idea before. I thought it would be nice to show you and share it to you guys. These were the other ones I have done before. Only difference is the color and I add some gems in the middle. I actually like both of them. They actually came out nice colors. I do like them very much. So yeah, this is all the pieces. So again, I hope you guys enjoy and hope to see you guys next time. Bye.